this clarification today about the Labour plans to put VAT on schools, on uh, private schools, and there was hope that this wouldn't be put on boarding fees, but in fact the Labour Party have now clarified that that would be the case. Because boarding fees, rather than being an aspect of welfare, are an aspect of education. Now private schools are finding, are looking for ways to avoid uh, the impact of this um, with more appeals to foreign students, getting parents to pay several years of fees in advance and so on. But in the event, I suspect it's going to have a heavy impact and the smaller private schools are probably going to collapse under the weight of this. So rather than um, yielding huge amounts of money for the Labour Party and for the government, it's going to see the destruction of an educational system and those students will then have to be fed back into mainline state systems. And are we going to see an improvement in the state systems? Well, we will see breakfast clubs and mental health support, maybe, but I don't think we're going to see a serious change in the quality of education. And by attacking the poorer part of the state of the private system, I don't think the state system is going to be improved in any way. You don't you don't improve something by attacking something else, no matter how egalitarian uh, that may seem or how idealistic that may seem. It, it, it simply doesn't work in practice. What, 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 what is going to happen is we're going to bring everything down to a lowest common denominator. Now, there are great schools in the UK. Um, some of them are private, some of them are state. Uh, many of them, many of the greatest um, schools are grammar schools, so state schools. Um, and there's a misunderstanding about what a lot of the private schools do. There is an assumption that a private school is going to guarantee a great, exam results it doesn't necessarily most of the private schools are set up on a system to provide an education for the sort of people who would be ruling the British Raj and that means an all round education where somebody is um, developed as a collegiate person as a corporate individual I suppose good at sports uh, adequate at um, academic skills, but not academically excellent necessarily. For that, you need a much more targeted education. And uh, sim simply investing in a cheap public school or a cheap private school is not a guarantee of that sort of success. I think the, I, I, I think the plans to put um, VAT on education are wrong. They're misunderstood. Um, but this is this is very similar to the fox hunting ban which wasn't really a fox hunting ban it was an attack on an ideology and it hasn't really solved the problem there are problems with fox hunting and there are problems with sport uh, which involves pain and I, and I don't think those are addressed uh, and I think we'll find the VAT on private education is simply going to it, it, it's simply going to flood state education with extra with extra demands, and state education like the NHS can barely cope at the moment. I know, I've been in it.